Hey, what's up? Today I'm gonna be reviewing four t-shirts by a brand called Remy Relief. Remy Relief was started, I believe, back in 2007. I just found out them maybe two, three years ago. Um, Essence has been stocking some of their products as well as Mr. Porter. So I did get a chance to pick up four of their t-shirts. Three of them are in the same cut and the other one is a slightly different larger cut so you'll be able to see that when you see the on body most of the items that i've seen from this particular brand look like they're based off vintage pieces all four of these t-shirts are really good quality more of like a mid-weight cotton not too light not too heavy perfect here uh, perfect for me here in florida because majority of the year it is pretty hot Let's just go ahead and get right into it. The first t-shirt we have says Tokyo 1964. This particular t-shirt was meant to commemorate the last time that the Olympics were in Japan. The Olympics are going to be in Japan this year, 2021. It was supposed to be in Tokyo last year, 2020, but of course the pandemic hit. I believe that's supposed to start sometime in July, but Again, this one is to commemorate the previous time before this year, which was 1964. On the bottom, a simple pair of faded black jeans by Madewell. For the footwear, threw on the Geo Baskets. Very simple, clean, casual outfit. For the second t-shirt, same fit as the first one. Again, a black graphic tee, washed, faded in look. On the front, you'll see the text L-O-V-E. I kind of like the way that they split up the text and put it into more of a square shape. Thought that was a pretty good detail. Again, not too much to say about this one. Same exact cut and fit. On the bottom, again, same faded black Madewell jeans. I just think the fading on the jeans works really well with natural fades from the t-shirts. And for the shoes, I went ahead and threw on the white and red recess highs. I really like the way the distressing and faded look of the shoes and the jeans complemented the fades on the t-shirt as well as the red and white of the sneaker bringing out the red and white text from the shirt that's all we have for the second the third t-shirt just caught this one recently from essence for those of you who don't know right before the end of season sale essence will do a private sale so i was able to get this shirt slightly discounted. On the front of this t-shirt, you'll see the text say, imagine, and faded white text. Very simple, same cut as the first two t-shirts. This one being brand new, I haven't had a chance to wear it as of yet. So you'll see that the black is slightly less faded than the other two t-shirts. Again, threw it over the same Madewell faded black jeans. For the shoes on this one, I went for the Dior B23s. Again, simple black and white fit, very casual, very laid back. The white and black shoes, of course, pair easily with the faded black tee with the white text. For the last t-shirt I have, this tan slash khaki Colorado tee. Uh, for the jeans on this one, I have a pair of slim Madewell, different wash, but same cut as the first faded black pair of jeans slight cuff and then for the shoes the chuck 70s highs just a simple easy everyday shoe that goes with pretty much everything so can't go wrong on that the first three you'll see are in the exact same cut it's a cropped boxy sort of cut for the black t-shirts i ended up having to go with the double xl probably could have got away with the extra large but just wanted to make sure it fit slightly oversized compared to the typical Japanese sizing. Typically a double XL in Japanese sizing just equates to a US extra large, but you can see how these fit on my body that it's fitting more like a large than an extra large. That sort of khaki tan Colorado faded tee fits even bigger than the double XLs that I have on the black tees. Same brand, different fit. So definitely be careful. Definitely check out the size charts when whenever you're looking at these t-shirts. A lot of times you can tell from just looking at the model how it's gonna fit. If it looks really small and sort of tight on the model 
And especially if they even sized up to get a more relaxed fit, that'll kind of give you an indication that you'll probably need to size up one, if not two sizes, depending on your build. So definitely keep that in mind when looking at t-shirts from this brand. Definitely check them out if you haven't done so already. I'll try and leave links in the description for all the pieces that I have in here today, assuming they're not sold out. May even link a couple of other pieces that are on sale from them on Essence or Mr. Porter that I think are dope. Let me know what t-shirt and or fit that you like the most down in the comments. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. I do plan on putting out a lot more videos, so stay tuned for that. Till next time, peace.